Good afternoon, YouTube. It's Chris with Lock and Stock. Uh, before I start this unboxing we have today, uh, I just want to apologize. My voice is a little shaky, off, a little congestion. Um, I just want to make sure I did the video before I actually take this out to shoot. Um, this is actually my private purchase, my personal purchase. Uh, I've got number one for quite a while. Uh, I have the SIG P320. Uh, it's not the M18 that I really and truly want, um, and I felt that I didn't want to start with a gun that was already updated or upgraded, and then if I get it and get my hands on it, not like it. So I would rather start from the base, and this is just the P320C, just your base in black. It's nice. So uh, I'm going to set this all to the side for a second. And I'll show you what came in packaging. If I can get it to sit down, here we go. But it does come with two 15 round mags, this model. Um, this one that comes in two for, excuse me. <clears throat> I apologize once again. This is a model that comes in with uh, 10 rounds in the mag. Uh, it's a nine millimeter. Uh, of course, you get like all type of information from SIG. So it's about the cleaning oil or the lube that they use. And your NRA. Join the NRA. This one says a little bit about some uh, SIG ammo. Uh, one I've never tried, the Elite Defense. I'm probably going to pick some of that up. I have, <clears throat> excuse me, plenty of the V Crown. And like I said again, man, y'all got to please excuse my voice. I wanted to get this in before I went to shoot because I'm going to actually make a shooting video out of the box review. So, As well, like with every firearm, you get your manual. The weird thing is, unless it's, oh, yeah, it is under there. I was about to say, I thought you didn't get the lock, cable lock with it, but. I thought in the description when I ordered it, I was supposed to get a holster, but I won't beat them up about that too much because I know I'm going to get a custom holster. But This is the P320C. It's a 3.4 inch barrel, I think it is. No safety. I like the grips on this, so um, I was debating with the X-Carry or those Wilson combat grips to order <clears throat> and I did not because I like the size and the thickness I like the texturing on this one the full size is what I was going to order originally with the 4.7 barrel 4.7 inch barrel I didn't go that route so I wanted compact three dot sights look really good on here Yeah. that trigger is really nice and that's one of the first things I thought I was going to be changing um, but I doubt it um, let me show you let me make sure we do safety first nothing in the magazine nothing in the chamber but the trigger is there resets there there nice uh, like, I, like I said I'm not going to talk too much because I know my voice sounds horrible on here losing it in and out but I'm going to take this baby down and get a review video in probably the next three days I'll probably be shooting this uh, well not tomorrow but I know today this afternoon more than likely Saturday afternoon and definitely Monday and Wednesday. So, um, I, when I ordered it, it was weird because I got a bunch of videos about the trigger issues, the firing pin or the, the drop when they drop it, they fire or having issues where they fire in a holster. So, and I do carry with a round chamber. So, 
me that it didn't come with a hole, so I'm going to have to get one that will fit. So it's probably going to be pocket drop for a little bit anyways. So glad I got the compact. Not nearly as small as I hoped it wasn't, so it's a great size. Nice thickness on it, like thick guns. Um, the X carry, I don't like that, the way that that little beaver tail looks on it. You know, now that I'm looking at it, it's almost the same, but for some reason it's just, and it doesn't have this indentation on the grip. So I don't like that. And then I don't want to pay for the Wilson Combat grips and all. I'm getting a little sunray looking design for all that extra money. So this grip is perfect. I'm going to, I actually have ordered a uh, wolf gray frame grip module and a uh, FDE. No, I won't. I'll, I'm going to play with it for a little bit before I change out anything. But I like the fact that that FCU on the inside just pops right out. You got everything there to swap it into another frame. So. I know a lot of people like these. So if anybody has, just... Give me some info, some things that you might have changed with your first one or what you didn't like. Uh, I'll definitely go put a video up of what I don't like about it. But I'm pretty sure I'll find more things that I do like than I don't. So stay with me. I appreciate y'all patience with the voice thing. So just give me some more feedback. I appreciate y'all.